I have with me today, guys, a bicycle product that I definitely think is underrated, and you have no idea how many customers come into my store asking me for such a product. So I'm very happy to show you guys this product because of the fact that I think it is a benefit for all consumers, and I'm excited to show you guys. Today we have for you guys the Fantic X8 Ace Mobile Bicycle Electronic Pump. Uh, this thing right here is going to be an item that will help you inflate your tires either on the go or at home, and it comes with a bunch of different modes. Now, you might be asking yourself, GC Performance, why do I need something like this? Uh, because of the fact that majority of times when people come into my store, these bicycle pumps and these bicycle tires that we're pumping up nowadays have a really high PSI, much more than a car PSI, and it is kind of hard to pump up. So, over years and years and years of actually selling bicycle pumps to people, this thing right here is a huge lifesaver. Up to 80 PSI, 90 PSI. It's not just young whippersnappers anymore riding road bikes. There are tons of people out there who still love the riding experience. And obviously getting up to that 80 PSI on a bicycle pump is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Or if you've ever been stuck riding along and you only bring one CO2 and you miss your opportunity by going ahead and engaging the CO2, putting on the press valve nozzle, and then you screw it up and it blows off your tire, now you're stuck unless you didn't bring another CO2. So this item right here is going to be a game changer for all you folks that are out there. It is a mobile bicycle pump. Yes, it's bigger than the other ones that we've probably seen out there. And it is a little bit heavier. I will weigh it as well. But this is a four-in-one electronic bicycle pump that can fill up to a total of eight bicycle tires when fully charged. It can go, you press it on, you have an LCD screen. It gives you battery cells in here as well. You have your desired PSI of what you can want and what you can go. You have a power button, a plus or minus, and then also your mode button. So we can see right here, you have your e-bike option, which is 16 PSI, your mountain bike option, your city bike option, and a road bike option as well. And these are all preset. And once you do preset them to whatever you want, ah! holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. Holy cow. Once you preset them to whatever you want, you can go up or down and then they will stay like that forever. Or you can even have a custom one. Like, like 80 right here is what I fill my tires up to. So this is what I've been keeping on. Not only can you use it for bicycles, but you can also use it for other things like a car tire, a bicycle pump, a, a basketball, RV tires, whatever you want, you name it. It's a good tool to have on you. Um, so all you would do is basically once it's charged up, you go ahead and put it on a bicycle tire like so. Press the button and it is very loud. Audio, be warned. It is very loud. I don't know the exact number of decibels, but you guys get the gist of it. But again, like I said, you can actually go ahead, put this on your bicycle, pump it up to whatever desired PSI you wanted to, and then set it and forget it. Because once it goes up to this desired number of what you want, 80 PSI, it shuts off. And you guys might be thinking to yourself, well, GC Performance, what if I have a hookless rim tire? What if I have, it needs to be 73 PSI max or else that hookless rim will blow off. This thing is plus or minus one PSI in accuracy for the LC, for the, uh, the air pressure gauge. So it's actually very, very nice in terms of that. They also do give you a owner's manual inside of here and a little sticker that says there are accessories below. We have a little strap on piece that you go ahead and extend to here. They can make it work with Schrader valve if needed for. So this can go for Schrader valves you needed to get in there for car tires, for hybrids, for touring bikes, whatever you want to do. So if you do have a Presta, you can put this directly onto it, or you can put this directly onto a straighter valve as well. But this is kind of bulky, so it gets tough. I'll show you guys an example in a second on road bike wheels. Um, you do also have for like uh, activity outside, like sports and whatnot, you know, balls, big balls. And then also we have uh, the adapter for the straighter. So if you do want to use your press valve, you just put this on there and you pump it up. But enough yammering. Let's go ahead and get some weights and uh, some visual demos for this thing. Uh, and also, just to let you guys know, I'm sure there's other products you've seen out there. The other products out there only do about two tires to about 80 PSI of a 700 by 25 C. They're $80 for that product. This product is $60. They're a reputable brand company. They're massive in the automotive industry for sure. They're trying to make their way on the bike scene. They have this nice kind of mesh material on here. This thing can fill up eight tires fully to whatever you want to do to about 150 PSI if needed to. You have an LCD screen and also a soft touch material. Like I said, it is much heavier. I think it's about 400 grams. It is much heavier 
Then the other ones I see other and a little bit more cumbersome. Because you guys will wait real quick. But in terms of yeah, 403 grams. That's that is a chunker. So I don't know how that'll fit inside a jersey pocket. You'll definitely feel that while riding. But just to keep around your house to pump up. Now, downside is with any of these electronic pumps, pumping up in the morning, my wife would kill me at five o'clock in the morning. So this is definitely something I bring inside the truck, get to my ride and do so. Or pump up the night before and let it go on because it is very loud. But like I mentioned before, you can literally get this thing right now when this video drops on sale. They're going to have it on sale for Amazon for 43% off. Exclusive for a limited time only. I think it's going to be around $35. So that's huge. A huge discount. Even just keep this inside of your car. If someone forgets their pump at a group ride or someone forgets something. It's it's literally you can fill up eight people's bicycle tires if they get a flat tire. Let's say you all ride over glass in an eight-man group. You got this here. So let's get this on a bike. Let me give you guys some quick ASMR. four inches it's a, it's a small four inches i always thought four i always thought four inches like that i always thought that was four inches but whatever okay all right back to regular super and best thing yet that i forgot to mention it is type USB C, and it only takes an hour to charge up so let's say you forget overnight you can get a quick fast charge charge for 30 minutes you'll get four bicycle tires if you need so for have for emergency repair or you get an hour and you remind remember to charge up on the way to your car ride wherever you're going to, and you have another eight hours on there for sure. So I'm gonna give you guys a little skit of how this works. Let's get it going. Uh, all right, here comes here comes skit one, uh, one out of one. I'm a, I'm a really rich guy and I have a nice bike and my tires flat before the ride. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't wait to go crush some KOMs today. Oh, I love it, let me check my tires. Oh, this crock here one's flat. Well, good thing I brought my my Fantic X8 Ace bike pump tool me. Uh, go ahead and uh, this way I can actually go and do things I want to do while riding and getting ready for everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw on my pump thing. Yeah, like the so. And obviously after this I can go ahead and maybe go scrum around with the wife a little bit and uh, get a little quickie in before the bike ride. You know what I mean? But uh, it should only take about 43 seconds. That's just about as long as I can last in the bedroom. So I'll be happy with that as well. Hit the power button on, simple. Go to my designated where I want to be at for my bikes, 80 PSI. And now it's fucking pumping it. <clears throat> All right, I just, I, I returned um, from the pump. <clears throat> Oh, that was the best 30 seconds of my life. All right, 80 PSI is just what I like to ride at. I'm so modern today. I'm so trendy. I like trendy things. Unscrew my little thing. And we're good to go. This is so easy for me. Everything in life. $14,000 bike. Beautiful mansion. Easy. But yeah. And scene. Um, I am thinking about quitting the bicycle business and also YouTube to start acting. Let me know what you guys think. But that pumped up to 80 PSI. I did a time lapse. I want to say it was about a minute, honestly, from, from 40 PSI to there. 40 seconds. I wasn't even looking. But like I said, you can pump this up. Take this next one. Go to the back tire. You know it's going to be at 80 PSI because, like I said, it's plus or minus uh, accuracy of 1 PSI, which is really great. And, uh, yeah, so we'll go back up to the top. Also, this is my opinion, but that's the most sexiest color that Specialized makes in that Tarmac SL8. That red is gorgeous. Fight me. All right, and then here, here's a second scene. Uh, again, I'm really rich in my fantasy land, $14,000 bike, but this is what it's gonna be like if I didn't have an electric uh, bike pump. So, and I have a manual pump, okay? So, here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, I 
can't wait to get on my bike. All my mates are waiting for me at the bunch ride. Uh, pumped up tires, good. All right, let's go. Oh, what the, crikey, I think I got a, a, a slow leak. Maybe my tubeless will take care of it because I'm so trendy. That's why I ride. Let me find my bike pump somewhere. Babe, you see my bike pump? No, the bike pump. No, not watch for us. Go up the bike pump. I found it. Never mind. No, I don't have 30 seconds to do it again. Crikey. Just trying to get on the, just trying to get on the bike. All right. Because it's on here. I'm always fussing around it and stuff. It's so difficult. <sighs> My arms are so feeble and so weak. It's like, oh. My tries are burning. Ah! Ah! <sighs> 50 PSI. I'm gonna call it. I'm not going for a ride. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the second win. All right, 80 PSI. Gotta remove it. Oh, I broke the valve head. The valve broke. I broke it in this made up story. So now it's all done. Dang. Damn it. I wish I had an E pump for my E bike, for E everything. Damn. Damn, Daniel. All right, well, I guess I can still go ride with my bunch ride with my mates. Scene. See, that's, that's when, when I left the scene to go yell at my wife, that's called um, foreshadowing. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy those those uh, skits. But in all seriousness, this product is very fantastic. Um, like I said, just even have around the household to keep in your car to charge up, whatever it is. You can charge it while driving to wherever you're going to. I use it for my RV tires outside. I use it for my golf cart tires. I use it for my car tires. I use it for my bike tires as well. Literally, you can put it on there. Obviously, sometimes you're going to use your bike pump because it's more convenient, but this thing is a lifesaver. It works really, really well. And for the going price of, like I said, 35 bucks, I think it is, on sale, when this video drops with a discount code down below, it'll be in the description in the first comment. Um, phenomenal. They make great products. I used to carry their actual car pump back in the day, and, and it works really, really well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you do like it, like I said, you can use the link below. And um, yeah, I think this is definitely, a, if you know someone who maybe rides and they're getting a little bit older and the bike pumps are getting a little bit harder to work out, a thousand percent. This is a great option. Maybe someone just doesn't have it in and pump to 80 or 100 PSI. It, this works really, really well and go up to 150 PSI. So thank you again to Fantix for sending this out to me. And thank you for guys watching the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.